Yo, this is Ross, and I want to do a quick video for you guys answering a very common question that I get. What size pots should I use for my fig trees? If I'm going to grow fig trees in containers, what size container should I use? I get this, con this question all the time. The short and simple answer is 10 gallon or above. And if you want to know how I got to that answer, continue watching this video. But you can see behind me, this whole area was dedicated on my patio towards five gallon size trees. Um, I've been slowly up potting them in stages, slowly getting more and more pots um, to the point where I'm realizing, especially now more than ever, that the five gallon size or anything below that really just sucks. Um, you can get a lot of fruit off of them, don't get me wrong. I know people, and even myself, I've gotten really good production off of five gallon size uh, pots. Uh, I know people that are getting like 75 fruits off of their five gallon trees. That's no exaggeration. Um, so that's pretty impressive, right? But I just think that it's just not worth it. I mean, I'd rather have less trees, but bigger trees, right? Bigger trees that are healthier, stronger, uh, can put out more figs easier, right? If you want to get 75 figs off of a five gallon tree, you have to fertilize from like day one of the season till you know at a certain point you just stop but you have to be on it like you have to fertilize every two weeks you add in a slow release you add in all these micronutrients it's a lot and it doesn't seem really all that worth it to me especially because I recently got some trees at the beginning of this year I got some trees from my friend Peter Lee Peter if you're watching thank you um, he, he I bought some trees off of him that were in 55 gallon drums man these things were huge we could barely lift them into my dad's truck it was a real pain i don't even know how we got them in there they i mean they had a reservoir they were sips i mean i i've talked to i talked to you guys in a previous video about these trees many times and the trees are back here so let me show you guys the trees themselves and you can see right down in here against the wall is two of them you can see that's raspberry latte we have another one right next to that, which is Black Madeira KK. Next to that is Col de Don Blanc. I know it's a bit of a forest right now because that's just what fig trees do, man. They are so vigorous. And then here's LSU Tiger. So the four of them, I, I downsized them. I did some root pruning at the beginning of this year. I did a video on that, like I said, and put them into 30-gallon pots legitimately 30 gallons and this is the size of them they're they're huge they're like 22 inches by 22 inches or something like that they're really really big they're also very heavy you need two people to lift that that kind of thing a 10 gallon i can lift fairly comfortably right uh, a 10 gallon size i mean a 15 gallon size i can sort of lift uh and then the 20 gallon size i can lift but like only if i'm feeling strong you know what I mean so <laughs> you you really need to take that into consideration here um, I like the fact that a lot of these have handles on them at least the grow bags you know that's the one plus the grow bag but for me putting them in these larger pots and you can very see it you could see I saw it very apparently that's what I was getting to about these 30 gallons is that they put out such vigorous growth in the beginning of the season and that's leading to uh, a situation where I can pinch much earlier in the season, right? So if let's say that this is the this is the new branch that came out. So we can just imagine that instead of me pinching it right here, let's say that this is the beginning of the season. If I can remove this leaf, that would probably help. But let's say that this is the beginning of the season right here where my pinky is. And the thing wakes up from dormancy, puts out such incredible growth, it just shoots out. It goes all the way like that. It's very thick growth, it's very strong growth. We get about six to eight leaves, something like that. And by that time, it's like June, right? And if I, if I can pinch sometime in June, that's what I want, right? Because I can get fruit way earlier in the season. So what I, that's exactly what I did, is I pinched on my Black Madeira KK here you can see I pinched it right there where that fruit is, right behind that. 
and that was six leaves. And I pinched that pro sometime in early June. So that means really sometime in September, early September, I should get black Madeira figs. That's pretty damn incredible. Um, to get a late variety that takes a huge amount of energy and amount of time to ripen. If I'm getting that in September here, that's amazing. I'm I, With no, absolutely no head start, by the way. I got the tree May 1st on the patio here and it woke up and put out huge amounts of growth, pinched it, and that's what it looks like today, right? And I'll show you guys sometime in September, I'll do a video on that, and I'll show you guys exactly how amazing that is for that one to be fruiting in September. You know, here's my Black Madeira UC Davis, but this one's in a 10 gallon size pot, and this one got a huge head start to the season, right? You could see the amount of fruits on it. It was in the greenhouse. So, being that it was in the greenhouse, it got all this growth out much earlier, much quicker, to that in June, I could then pinch this thing and have the amount of fruits on it that I do, right? So, there's a big, there's a big difference there. One needs a greenhouse, one doesn't. You know, they're pretty much the same variety, but the fact that this guy here got the head start and that one didn't, that's huge. That, to me, is amazing. So... For me, anything that's in a, a five gallon or even a 10 gallon or below, you know, a 10 gallon I think is pushing it maybe. We're getting some nice size on these 10 gallon trees. I think it would help if they weren't in the grow bags. I think they would have, they would be stronger trees actually if they weren't in a grow bag. Um, but I think that they're gonna put out quite a nice amount of fruit for me in this size, but the, the five gallon's totally not worth it. 100% not worth it. So. You can get them the fruit, as I've said. I mean, you can get a five-gallon tree to put out 75 fruits, guys, in one season. So that's pretty incredible in itself if you can make that happen. But what I've decided to do is get these pots, these 15-gallon size pots. And like I said, everything is getting in a 10-gallon size or higher. I still have these here. I want to let these root out to the end of the season in the five-gallon size before up-potting them into the 15 but this is what's going on right i got i went to a landscape company and it's a landscape company that obviously plants many trees either commercially or residentially and what they do is they have a lot of leftover pots right so you can go to these landscape companies call them up on the phone and say hey do you have any extra pots because some of them either throw them out or some of them do keep them and give them out to people for free because it's a nice thing to do and it's plastic right you don't want to ruin the environment with plastic so you can call these people up and I'm sure there's somebody in your area I took a road trip over this past weekend got about 80 free 15 gallon size pots that's a fortune guys that's insane amounts of money so for me to get these pots was that was uh, really hitting the jackpot and basically you can see in here I have a five gallon tree sitting in there and what I'll do is I'll take this out of the pot, I'll take away the soil, like the top, you know, inch or two of mulch, maybe take some off the bottom. I don't want to disturb the roots, right? Don't want to disturb the white or yellow roots. And then I'll add in another five gallon pot right on top of this. And I'll basically squish in there by removing a couple inches of the soil. I'm able to squish in here two fig trees in the same pot which is really saving me a lot of time and energy because it's less trees, less trees to take care of. And it, in, the, in the long run, these guys are going to get to such a uh, nice size that they're going to put out a lot of fruit for me. You know what I mean? So it's all worth it in the end. And um, yeah, I mean, that's pr pretty much what I recommend doing, guys, is getting these, if you don't have them already, you don't have, if you have something that's well rooted out in a five gallon container, put it into a 10 or put it into something higher. You know, you could put a five, a well rooted out five gallon container in any size pot you want if the soil is well draining enough. And here in Pennsylvania, we are getting into August. We're almost in mid August now. And that's pretty much what's going on is that we're losing some daylight hours and we're losing heat. So when that starts to happen, these things don't grow nearly as quickly. I want to get these trees rooted out in these containers as much as humanly possible so that next year, because I'm considering this more of a building year for a lot of my trees, right? I grafted over 100 varieties this year, 
and by grafting them it really put a lot of these trees back but some of them have fruit on them which is really nice so I get to taste them but this really was a building year for me and any steps I can take towards continuing that building year is going to be beneficial um, the last point I want to make before I let you guys go is you can see over here what you usually will start out with is a is a one gallon size pot that's what this is usually about six to eight inches by six to eight inches um, I also like to use tree pots you can see the tree pots down here I know it's getting pretty dark but a tree pot is a really elongated pot you can see so it's nine inches long but four inches wide and having them in these pots really is nice for trees because they get deep root systems rather than wide so that deep root system is really nice and then what I'll do is I'll take that pot once it's fully rooted out I'll take that and put it into the five gallon size and once it's in the five gallon size fully rooted out in one of these guys which is about 12 inches by 12 inches I'll put them in any size pot that I want like I said so that's pretty much how it's done and I think that answers really all of the questions I think that I normally get from you guys on this topic um, I still have a few more here that I want to make sure that I'm you know taken care of in the 10 gallon size I only have one tree per container which can be a bit of a, a worry because I don't know just how good some of these are so you know at, at some point it would be nice to be able to combine these two together but I could also graph so it's not the end of the world um, the other thing you have to worry about is you have two trees in the same container guys you really want to make sure that the one that's more vigorous is kept in check for the one that's not now this tree looks dead so this tree never ended up growing this year a bit of a shame I did graft something onto it but uh, it is dying back now so after that graft broke off it's it's pretty much dying but um, yeah that's that's kind of the story guys you want to make sure that that it's a nice balance between this tree and that tree you know what I mean so at some point you're gonna have to come in here take some of this out and make sure that the more vigorous variety gets pruned back harder every year but anyway guys that is the video I hope you all enjoyed this one my figs are growing like weeds and uh, I'll talk to you all later take care